activities of the past. Well, Farm Bill leaders have reached an agreement in principle, but have yet to release the full details on a final measure. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock joins us live from our D.C. studios to discuss what's next for the compromise. Sarah? Well, thanks, Janet. Yep, we're seeing this compromise get completed just at kind of the last possible moment, but the bill still has a long way to go before it can be signed a little later this year. Now, the two big questions we're looking at now are, can this bill get back through both chambers of Congress, and will it be signed by the president if it is passed out of, the, out of Congress? Now, of course, there has already been some resistance, particularly on the conservative side. We've heard some reporting that uh, fo folks who have been briefed on even kind of the bare minimum uh, details that have come out so far have not been very impressed. But House Ag Chairman Mike Conaway is asking his members to reserve their judgment, saying that once they see the whole package, uh, he believes they'll have a different idea as he kind of makes those preparations for the final sprint to the finish line. We've got two weeks left this session. The first next step will be to get the conference report written uh, and available for members to look at. We've got conferees on the conference committee that will need to come in and sign the conference report. Uh, at this stage, I've not had conversation with leadership on what the timing is. Uh, we go first, the Senate goes first. Um, will this be a standalone bill or will be the other things packaged together with it? Uh, those decisions are yet to be made. But uh, right now, we've got staff feverishly working to, uh, to finish the language of the bill, uh, get the conference report report written and then uh, move from there. Of course, we're still waiting to hear details on what that official bill looks like, as uh, the chairman said there. Folks are still working on it. They're going to be working over the weekend. But the question of what is in the bill might not be as important as what's not in the bill, because that could be the thing that really holds this up. Of course, one of the things we don't expect to see in the bill is those food stamp changes, the, the changes to the work requirements for SNAP beneficiaries. That was a big hallmark of the House bill, one of the things that made it such a partisan gave it such a partisan feature, but that doesn't seem to have made it into the final compromise bill. Uh, that's one of the things that conservatives in the House seem to be pushing back on pretty hard. Uh, but I think uh, leadership is pretty confident that they'll pick up some Democratic votes in the House and be able to get that across the finish line. Now, of course, we're also worried that the White House might be resistant to this farm bill simply because it does not, according to Pat Roberts, the chairman of the conference committee, include many forestry provisions that President Trump talked about when he was out in California visiting the sites of those devastating wildfires. He wanted, of course, and conservatives in the House wanted additional uh, regulatory opening to allow more logging and clearing of forested areas. It doesn't look like that made it into the final bill. Pat Roberts alluded to an agreement made amongst the leadership of both the House and the Senate that would get those into maybe some kind of standalone bill that would also be passed uh, it seems by the end of the year. Not sure what that looks like, but pretty sure forestry is not going to change dramatically. Pat Roberts called it a minimum bill, that forestry title. We're also looking at Chuck Grassley's, uh, the Iowa senator's payment limitations for commodity programs. It seems that uh, they will not be making it into the final bill. Of course, that did cause some controversy at the at the committee level. Pat, uh, excuse me, Chuck Grassley did vote against the measure to get out of conference that the farm bill measure to get out of conference because it lacked his payment limits. They've been popular among some other senators, but we'll see what that causes, what kind of a conflict that causes on the Senate floor as this bill moves in that direction. So we're still waiting on CBO Congressional Budget Office scores but uh, and might see some minor changes come out of that. But otherwise, we're expecting to hear some big news very early next week. All right, Sarah, as always, thank you very much for the update. And of course, we will keep you posted as additional information rolls out on the Farm Bill's next steps, as well as the outlook for agricultural trade from that G20 summit. Well, the Environmental Protection Agency is set to